Hi everybody, Russ Vaughan here for Vaughan Timbers. We're back here in our office in Colville um, and I wanted to take a minute to show you uh, a few of the products that, examples of the products that we'll be making. These were actually made by, by another producer um, and given to us by a adhesive manufacturer um, or provider to show uh, how their glues work, but it also will show you uh, some of the examples of the products that we're going to be producing. I've got a lot of questions about that. People don't um, always understand when we use terms like CLT, which is cross laminated timber, or glue lamb beams, or glue laminated timber. So here's an example here of a glue lamb beam. So as you can see from this angle, you can see these are uh, these were two by sixes that were adhered together in a stack. And then this beam um, can be however long the press uh, allows it to be. In our case, we can make these up to 60 feet long. Um, the other interesting thing is that this can also be used to create uh, a panel. So if you lay it on its side and we were to make this wider and glue it together and then use it um, as a floor plate or ceiling panel or something like that, you can see that would be very strong because it's, you know, it's almost six inches thick. Uh, it's actually just a little over five because uh, five and a half is a two by six and then it would be shaved down to get the eased edge off. Um, but even at five inches, that's a thick piece of wood. Um, and if this were, let's say, four feet wide, that would be a glue laminated timber. And again, we could make that up to 60 feet long. That would be used for all kinds of applications, uh, both structurally and visually. So glue and beam stacked this way, or as a column upright like this to hold up another floor, or like this in a panel would be considered glue laminated timber. Now this, on the other hand, is an example of cross laminated timber. See, We've got pieces here, so again, two by six, two by six, and then a two by six running this way. So this would, in our press scenario, would be four feet wide by up to 60 feet long. And then we could do a number of different things. We'll have a CNC unit that will allow us to not only put a pattern on the edge to connect panels together, but would also allow us to uh, cut angles and other connections and holes and that kind of thing for running utilities, wires, that kind of thing. But that gives you an idea of, of a three-ply cross-laminated timber uh, panel. This is going to be uh, three, five, or seven layers thick, depending on the structural application and the span needed for the construction project. Uh, but this is a very good example of what our product will look like. Uh, our growth rings are going to be a little bit smaller than this because we've got an inland forest that we're supplying our, our beams out of. Most of our product is going to be coming from forest lands that are traditionally fire prone. The reason that's important is that we're actually going to be removing trees to get the forest into a better state of health. So it's going to get into a more natural uh, spacing than what it has been in the past because we've been fighting fires while at the same time not managing the forest, therefore all the small trees and the brush that would have otherwise died in a forest fire where the larger trees would have survived, they've all grown up. And when they grew up, they're consuming more nutrients and water on that soil. And subsequently, they're creating a situation where at the end of the summer, when we have our dry lightning storms, we have all this dry material, which becomes fuel for the fire. We're going to utilize a good portion of that to create these products, and that's really exciting. Those products those, uh, that are created from those forests come from trees that have been starved of nutrients, so they've grown really slowly. The benefit to you as a consumer of the product is that those products are very strong because they grew slowly, the growth rings are tighter together, more dense, which makes a stronger product. So hopefully you found this informative today. Uh, these products are really exciting for us to produce and we can't wait to uh, have them out in the marketplace. I get questions also a lot of the time. When are we going to be producing? We will have our production line going sometime in the first quarter of 2019. There will be a certification process and we'll be offering products sometime in 
uh, for delivery in the second quarter of 2019 and we'll give updates as we go. Thank you very much for watching.